Hey, what's going on everybody? Craig Howard here from Happy Camper, the superstore in Caldwell, Idaho. And we're gonna check out a 2025 Microlite by Flagstaff 25 SRK. This is a super cool couples layout. Mid-size, 25 feet, 11 inches. New floor plan last year. We only saw a couple of them. This is the first 2025 we've got. And it's pretty cool. Let me give you a little tour of it. So double entrance, that's very nice. Super sharp fiberglass exterior. Of course they use Asdell behind that. Frameless windows, those stand out and look, they actually don't stand out, but aesthetically they stand out. They look really nice. Automotive glass windshield on it. Let's in a ton of light to the bedroom. Power tongue jack up front. Two big propane bottles, double battery box. Got a battery disconnect down there. Let me give you, so 25 or 2510 and the weight 5679. It's also a double slide you can see. Really cool giant storage compartment here. That thing is huge and you can see the aluminum up there in the flagstaffs. Everything that's engineered that bears weight is welded aluminum. And the cabinet is, the storage space is finished really nice. Got power cord in that black bag. Behind that, let me just show you. I talk about these a lot and never really show them. So this is a cool table that comes right over here. Clips on to that black rail. You can see how easy it is. I'm doing this one-handed. Clips on just like that. There's also a griddle that must be stored inside that clips on just like that right here. Got a propane connection down below for that. Set up a really cool outdoor cooking station. Let me show you this side of it. A lot of space for gear in there. Uh, let's go back here real quick. So I give you a wrench for your stabilizer jacks. That would also work if you ever needed to manually override the tongue jack, which is a power one. I was about to show you that. This one's cool right here. One of the things that Flagstaff does that not a lot of other people do, is they give you this little access point right here. You can put that in there probably hard to see through it, but it's a, it's a manual override for the slide. You know, I've never seen anybody have an actual issue with the slides on these, but it's nice that they give you a backup plan if you ever did have a problem. And they use really nice hardware on these, slam latch and magnetically connects right there, keep it open. These flag staffs are all about well, they've got a bunch of big, nice stuff on them, but in my mind, it's all of the little things like that that just add up in the whole coach that really make them stand out. So this slide right here, this is driven with the Schwintec drive. I hear a lot of people not like that. They've heard horror stories. And to be honest with you, the only problem, the only time we ever have horror stories with Schwintec is when you use that drive on a big slide like this. They're designed for slides this size, not slides this size. So on these small ones, they work phenomenally, but not so well on a big one like this. On the big ones, we use a rack and pinion system. That's as robust as you can get. As we turn over here, we've got black and gray dump valves right there. Super cool rims on these, Goodyear tires, and that's supported on the Dexter Torflex torsion axle, all four wheels, independent suspension, nicest ride you can get in a trailer like this. Water connections right here, pressurized water, black tank flush, antifreeze inlet when it's time to winterize, 
if you want to fill the, the fresh tank that's right here off the top of my head i believe this is a 54 gallon fresh tank all of the specs published in the description but most of these this size use that 54 gallon fresh tank this small slide you'll see when we go inside that is a wardrobe in the bedroom this is the living area right here nice little storage space and it's tall so i'm thinking for me my first thought is fishing rods easy up awning stuff like that lots of space for tall stuff right back here we've got one additional gray tank dump valve so the kitchen this is kind of a rear bath or a, sorry a rear kitchen model um, and a center bath and so it makes sense to have two gray tanks this dumps the kitchen gray tank and then up front there just behind the axle is the fresh water dump they give you a nice big one so you can dump it fast if you when it's time to dump you don't have to sit there and wait forever there's a good look at those axles again and you can see enclosed underbelly main power connection right here we've got a ladder right there to get up to that fully walkable roof these guys do a super awesome job the roof is one of their other things that really makes them stand out it's a one-piece laminated roof a lot more solid than roofs that are constructed piece by piece holds up a lot better makes the whole coach more stable and solid it's kind of like when a home is being framed and they'll put the I think they call it sheathing on the outside of the framing and it gives it side to side support the roof does the same thing on a camper We've got a six gallon DSI water heater accessory hitch down here you can put your bike rack on or maybe you've got a cargo rack full-size spare I'm not gonna climb up the roof because I almost fell off the other day and I'll just tell you right now, the full roof walkable, max air vent covers on there, solar panel already installed, everything you could want, it's got. I didn't actually almost fall off, but I always scare myself. Outdoor shower fixture. Nice solid steps on both entrances. This rear one right here is the main entrance. And then that one up there is into the bedroom. We'll go inside in just a second, look at more of that. This is the furnace right here. So your exhaust ports there. Also comes equipped with this mount right here to bring your TV outside if you'd like. Outdoor speakers, big full length awning, LED lights underneath that. This right here, this sticker indicates that we've got down there a propane connection. That's plumbed up to your bottles up front. So when you bring the griddle out and set it up right here, it's so easy. You don't need a separate bottle. Real, real plug and play, simple, easy. All right, you wanna check out the inside? It's cool. This is a neat floor plan. It's been the couple that we've had, I think we had, we had either four or six in 2024. Sold them super fast. Everybody that walked in it loved it, so let's check it out. Okay, we're inside the 25 SRK. Super cool living space in here. I'll give you a quick overview and then we'll show you all the fun stuff, all the details. So this main living space is closed off right there. Go past that door into the center bath. And you've got a door here to the bedroom as well. So you can still let guests in here, but keep your privacy in the bedroom. I'm gonna back up a step though. I wanna show you something on the entrances. saw a minute ago the solid steps here 
they're super cool. But one of the things that where the Flagstaff goes above and beyond is right behind this, there's a little assist strut. And what that does is carries most of the weight of these steps. When you get it to about halfway, it just starts lifting itself. Makes it so much easier to deploy those, pull them back up. It's a nice touch. And that's on the front up there and this main entrance. Right as we come inside, we've got the refrigerator right here. This is a Magic Chef and it's a brand new one. It's super cool. Dual swing both ways. Huge, I think it's 10.2 cubic feet capacity. And they did the rear, or I'm sorry, the bottom freezer, just like at home. That thing's cold too. We've had this on the lot for about an hour. These things are so fast and efficient. I mean, I'm not kidding you. Obviously you can't tell, but it is quite cool in there. It's cooling down super quick. So I have a feeling people are gonna love this refrigerator freezer. Nice kitchen area here. Plenty of storage space. Three burner range top. Oops. Actually, you know what? That's kind of a cool feature that that is split into two pieces. Makes that just a little bit easier to manage when you want to take those off to clean them. I don't know if I've ever noticed that. Maybe I have. Knife block behind the range. Over here, some hidden power. You can get that thing out of the way when you need the counter space or pop it up when it's time to make coffee or you need some power up there for whatever. Big giant sink with these cool dish drying mats roll up out of the way or go you can obviously just take that off all together if you want very nice sink faucet big giant drawer there or fold out and then the drawers are huge all right this is very cool here the owner's manual that flagstaff does when i first saw these i thought i mean it looks like somebody's thesis they turn in for a PhD. It's got all the information on this trailer, anything you could ever want. They received a lot of feedback that they've got it available digitally. They received a lot of feedback that people wanted a hard paper copy. Hope you're out camping where you don't have service and you need something like this. Um, this is really cool. All the information you could ever want is in here, including this on the last page. This is a VIN specific part list with part numbers for all of the the appliances, hardware, everything in this unit, this specific unit. So they did a great job on that. Bigger drawer down here. Big one underneath the oven. Oh, sorry. That is a false panel there. We've got, I'm just gonna kind of peek. Oh yeah, the water heater. You can barely see it under there. So obviously you're not gonna be accessing the water heater all the time. You've got that false panel there, but it's finished really nicely. I like that. And a nice storage space here. This is one of those spaces that I think on most other trailers, they might've finished the cabinetry nice, but it would have just been dead space there. Super comfy Millersburg collection recliners right there. Power love seat. Got wireless charging for your phone. Storage space there. Cool storage right here. And then if you look at this setup, if you want, you can remove these shelves, use this as hanging storage. More storage above the recliners. And over to the dinette side. I've got the table down because I wanted to show you this, this, this system. I don't even know what this is called. Dream dinette. 
This is really cool. So it's on that track on the back. It's got a little assist underneath there. That thing just raises up so easy like that. You throw this little lever to lock it in the up position. You're all set. Or you can put that down and make it into a sleeping area. On this side, we've got the furnace under there, so there's not really any storage space there. But you can see we've got 110 power if you need it way in the back. This side, we do have some storage space. And then some up above. Smart TV right there. More storage here. Let me backtrack just a little bit. I'll show you the control panel. This is the Wii RV control panel. You can connect to that with an app on your phone or tablet. Solar charge controller up above that. Ducted AC up there. Here into the bath. Some of the, the these mid-sized micro lights have a smaller shower than this, like on the bunk models. But this is a pretty big shower for a small trailer. It's very nice. Shower miser on there, helps you save water. Over here on this side, more storage space. I was just with the rep from the factory for Flagstaff. And he was saying one of the areas you can look to really see their attention to detail is all of their seams that they do in caulking. Even, even stuff like that is a pretty big deal to them at the factory to do a good job on those and to pay fine attention to all the detail. Again, right here, I bet you that's a water pump behind there. Can't quite see, I think it's water pump behind there. But again, they finished it very nicely. Some storage space underneath the sink. And a little medicine cabinet right here. 110 power right there. Your inverter will, will power that if you want to use a hair dryer or curling iron. Right over here on the side of the bed is the control for the inverter. In this carpeted area, sometimes people that are new to RVs don't know what's going on here. This, and you see it on this side. That is the top side of that big giant storage compartment that we saw from outside. But check this out. We can lift the bed up. We've got more storage at the foot of the bed. And then there's a nice partition in there with these drawers on the bottom. In these boxes right here, earlier in the video, we mentioned the cool griddle that comes with it. That's what's in those boxes. We just typically leave those packaged up nice for the folks that are buying them. You can see that huge window up front. Let's in a ton of light or the shade will pull down. It's blackout shade. More storage space right here. Nice reading lights on both sides. And then uh, let me point out also, this bed was made when it got delivered and I just kind of ruffled the feathers a little bit climbing up here to show you this nice storage up above. Quite a bit of space up there. Soft close hinges on those, by the way. And notice that it holds itself up. You don't need to hold it with one hand, reach in with your other one just makes your life easier okay here's our second entrance that we've seen from the outside a few times like I said it's got that assist in there also I'll show you this if you want to add a TV in the bedroom we're set up for that and then on this side you remember the small slide from the outside It'll give you this nice wardrobe I don't know if you'd need to, if you remember that storage space in the back that was close to the kitchen, 
It had the hanging rod in the top, but there's so much space in there. I don't know if you'd ever need to use that. Probably just dedicate that for your pantry. Let's take one last look outside before I say goodbye. All right, my friends, this is a Forest River Flagstaff Microlite 25 SRK. This is a 2025 one of the first ones for the new year. We've got this one at the Happy Camper Superstore in Caldwell, Idaho. If you have any questions about this or any of our other awesome RVs, please give us a call. Our number is 208-466-6250. Hope you're having an awesome day. We'll see you soon, bye-bye.